Hello and welcome back to Cooking the Haydens and I'm Carboo Chris and today I've got a little charity shop haul to share with you guys so stay tuned. So I was out over the weekend charity shopping, we're straight out of lockdown too. Um, so I thought it'd be nice to get out and see what we can find. Unfortunately though, slim pickings. Um, I've not managed to find a huge amount of stuff. I've got it all here just off camera. I'm going to share it with you in just a minute. Before I do that, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video, even if you just like it literally just a little tiny bit. Just a little tiny bit. Please hit the thumbs up. Um, anyway, listen, I'm going to share what I found. This is from numerous charity shops. This is not one charity shop. If I found all this in one charity shop, it'd be great, but it isn't. This is quite a few different charity shops. Probably doesn't represent a great use of my time, but I also enjoy doing charity shopping as well. I enjoy thrifting. That's what I am. I'm a thrifter. I'm a reseller. So I enjoy doing it anyway. So whatever. It is what it is. Let's see what we've got. So first up is this new era cap. I've not seen any decent caps for quite a long time in the charity shops. I went through a bit of a phase of getting quite a few decent ones. This one is a pretty good one. Um, Detroit Lions. Nice flag emblem on it. It's original. It's a really nice condition hat. Um, I listed this a couple of days ago and it already sold, but I'm waiting for payment. I've actually had to open a case on it because they haven't paid yet. And two days passed, no contact. So there's a case open on this. I'm hoping that they might still pay. Um, I paid £4 for it. I paid £4. And I listed it for £29.99. I took an offer of £25. So let's see if they actually do pay. But £25 would be a nice sale on that. What else have we got here? We've got a Taz. A Tasmanian Devil Looney Tunes. It's it did have the original tag. It's worn off and it's come off. I'll try to reattach that in some way, uh, even if a bit of tape on there. What a shame that is! I've literally just ripped the tag off. This is raw and uncut. I would probably have cut that I'm out of the sure normal video. I'm not asking you to understand. Shut up. It's actually Siri has literally just written down everything that I've just said on my watch. It's original. It's a really nice condition. I have a listed this a couple of days ago and it already sold, but I'm waiting for payment. I've actually... It doesn't even speak properly. Um, you could say the same about me. This was £2.50. It's a nightwear pyjama case. I don't think you can use it as a water bottle case. It's not the right size, but it's a nightwear case. It's £2.50. I'm thinking about £15 on him. Bloody Siri. Every time I make a video, she literally listens. Um, what about this Teletubby? Um, Dipsy, isn't it? Is it Dipsy? I was looking at it before. It's a talking one. It's modern, it's not vintage, retro, whatever, it's a modern one. Um, he cost, she cost, or if it's gender neutral, £2. Um, needs a little bit of a clean up, but other than that, I mean, you can tell on the face it's in pretty good condition. I'm thinking um, 10 to £15 on this from £2. Um, I also picked up this Builder Bear. You can't go anywhere without me picking up a Builder Bear of some description. I am very picky about them, though. I don't just pick up any Builder Bear because you'll get stuck with tons. Trust me, I've been there. I've done it. This obviously is Santa Father Christmas. He's got a full outfit. So this is a separate outfit that you buy to go with it. Also, his sack. Santa's sack. No, it's not down here. It's here. Santa's sack. There it is. That's an extra. So altogether, what did this cost me? I think it was £4. And that's probably more than what I would usually pay on most Builder Bears, unless it's a special one. But 
Um, with it being Christmas, with all the accessories, I listed him for £25. Let's see if we can get that or not. Um, it's all plushies at the moment, isn't it? Oh, apart from the hat. Halo, green, um, green edition or whatever. Um, soldier or whatever he is, I forget now, to be honest with you. Um, still tagged. Cost £3. Now, when I bought it, I thought, I can't leave it behind because it's a nice item, but is it really going to be worth my time? And it could be, because I've listed this for £19.99. Um, it's quite unusual. It's quite an unusual one. So that's why it's 19 99 Simple as that. What else have we got here? A couple of pop figures. Um, these are not worth a huge amount of money. Probably less than £10 each. I mean, they are loose. They're not boxed. Um, hopefully you can see reasonably well there. Uh, this is... This guy, I can't remember his name, but he's from Spider-Man. He's got... Is the he's got the Daily Bugle there on his microphone, um, and this is actually Harley Quinn before she sort of changes into uh, Harley Quinn as we know her. Um, so yeah, not I don't think there's huge value in these, but they cost me one pound each. I don't like leaving pops or figures behind at one pound each. Anyway, nice ones like that. If all else fails, it goes in my little movie cabinet. I'll probably bundle them at some point with something like comics. It is an unusual item. It's a Las Vegas, um, what do you call it? A beer stein or, yeah, a beer stein, ceramic stein. Um, it, but it's quite nice. Just look at the detail on it. It's a nice one. And I don't, I see a lot of these steins. You will see them, especially in charity shops. You see them everywhere. And I normally walk past them, but when they've got a nice design, something that might be sought after like Las Vegas like that, I will pick them up and I, I do sell them. This one cost me £2. I'm thinking on this, of listing it, £20 to £25. That might be ambitious, but I'm an ambitious kind of person, especially when it comes to selling stuff. Uh, another plush, um, this time it's Gromit, quite a big Gromit, uh, in good good condition, good clean condition, cost £2, um, I think he's going to be worth 10 to 15 These are pretty bread and butter sort of items, there's nothing amazing apart from the cap, um, just standard stuff that I would uh, I would pick up. Now I bought this. Um, it's a PC game. I think it actually probably came originally in the big box because it's Windows 95. It's a four disc Windows 95 Blade Runner game. It's got all four discs and the manual in there. Not something I would normally pick up, but it just caught my eye. It was £1.50. Um, from what I can see on listeds and solds, I think I might be able to achieve 15 to 20 pound on it, even without the original big box. It could still be worth somewhere around there. Two items of clothing. This is a Mizu Mizuno. Mizuno brand. Uh, let me move back a bit. Uh, short sleeve jacket. Or do you call it a shacket? Jacket or a jacket? It's a shirt jacket type thing. I um, I'm presuming that it's golf. It's for golfing, ideally. Um, it costs four pound fifty. I'm thinking for that around the twenty-five to thirty pound mark. And the last thing I've got to share with you um, is this. It's a gilet a body warmer, a vest, and it's Plymouth Gin, which I thought was very nice. There it is, Plymouth Gin. Um, but not only is it just a gilet or a vest or a body warmer, it's reversible. So you put it inside out and it's like a fleecy one. So it's quite an unusual item and I'm thinking 
either was it in the Plymouth Gin tour? Because I think you can do tours of Plymouth Gin, possibly. Um, was it like a souvenir, a tourist souvenir type thing? Or was it a staff, a staff um, uniform even, maybe? I don't know, but either way, it cost me £5. And I'm going to enjoy doing a bit of research on it. I like finding new and unusual items. Um, so on this, I really am not sure what I'm going to list it for. So um, if you think you know what it is, feel free to leave me a comment. Happy to hear from you. That is the charity shop haul from the weekend. Um, let me know what you think. Have you been out to the charity shops yet? Have you found some great stuff? Or has it been a bit lame? I found it to be a bit lame. Um, it doesn't feel like they're running on all cylinders, which is understandable, I suppose. Um, but I'm just not seeing any decent stuff, really. Not down here anyway in Devon. Not seeing the decent stuff. Mind you, I've, I don't think I've seen the decent stuff, really, in the charity shops all year. Just not been there. Anyway... That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it interesting. And we'll see you again soon on the next one. Don't forget, thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, drop me a comment. See you later. Bye now.